and the winning number is 3359. And we do have a winner, and the winner is Lorna Duffy. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. I only bought the ticket tonight, you know, because my sister gave me money for Christmas. We would be more than happy to fly you and your two sisters out here. We'll deposit the 50 grand into your bank account. I'm, I'm shaking. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'd like to say I'm joined now by Lorna Duffy, who's the lady from Stavan uh, in County Tyrone who won the, the villa, the car, 50 grand or half a million pounds. We rang you on Sunday night. You were yes, excited. You, did. you were shocked. How do Very you feel shocked. Now? How do Very you feel shocked. Now? And still in shock. Still in shock. I was overwhelmed with a phone call. Couldn't believe when it was yourself. I wasn't going to answer the call because I didn't recognise the number. And when I answered and it was your voice, I just couldn't believe it. And I thought you were about to tell me I'd won £5,000. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> it, it, was was, slightly more. <laughs> it was slightly more. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. And now you're out here uh, with members of your family. You've taken the villa. I know we do all the video of the villa, but you're here. What do you think of it? It's absolutely gorgeous. I've never been in anywhere as nice. And to think that it could be mine is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I love the way you say it could be mine. It is yours. It's not <laughs> mine, it's yours. You won this. This is now. Look, you can hit it, you can kick it. It's yours. <laughs> it's mine. Yes, it is. It's unbelievable. It still is a dream to me. At the minute, I, I really don't believe it. I really I, don't. I always ask the question too when, when uh, we're fortunate to meet winners, because we're excited to meet the winners as well too. Uh, have you ever won anything before? Like people tell you that you know, they might have won nothing or wee, wee small things. Uh, I've won um, four pound on the lotto maybe. That's about it. That's about it. A nod four pound, three pound, sixty maybe on the lotto. Uh -huh. But I've never won anything big, so I'm delighted. It's are unbelievable. You, are you struck by the location, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but we we van going past there, it's it's so quiet here, isn't it? It's so quiet. It's absolutely beautiful. I love Portugal anyway. And the area is beautiful. The house is just amazing. The villa is amazing. Um, everything you could ever, ever want. Um, I must say now, since I have arrived here, well, since I actually got the phone call from yourself and Leah, I must say, I've been treated like royalty. It's been unbelievable. It's just so overwhelming how well I have been treated since Sunday night. It's, I just really can't believe it. Well, now, can I ask you, uh, your reaction? Now, you know your reaction. What was the reaction from family and friends when you got the call? <laughs> well, now, they weren't really believing. <laughs> <laughs> they did say, are you sure that's not a scam? Uh -huh. But I said, definitely not. And now they really do believe because they're here with me, two sisters of mine, and they just can't believe how well they have been treated just as sisters of somebody that has won the prize. They're overwhelmed as well. Such but lovely, lovely people. It's, it's no surprise to the likes of us who work with McKinney's because they're McKinney competitions with Leah and all the team out front. You've met a few of the management. You've, uh, you haven't met all the fellas behind the scenes. Uh, that's always been the, their modus operandi. They always try to look after people. All winners, no matter what you win, with a proper yeah. courtesy and respect. I'm delighted to hear you say that. Oh, it's been unbelievable. Been met at the airport by Leah. It's just... Um, it's been so overwhelming. I have I have really been treated like a queen since since I arrived on the island, or even before I got to the island. But um, making me taking me out for dinner, it's just been anything I want. They'll they'll arrange it and organise it. It's <coughs> well, unbelievable. Of course, me found the hospitality. Whenever we found out who you were, I made a couple of calls, and you, you are regarded officially as the Queen of Stavanger. Anyway. So there you are. So it's only right that you get treated that you get treated properly with proper courtesy. But I have to ask you the hard question, and the hard question is that um, not that McKinney's will put you on a, under any pressure whatsoever. They don't. You have a villa, you have a brand new jeep, and you're fifty thousand pounds or the half a million. Yeah. So, what's your decision? Uh, I'm going to take the half a million pound. 
Money is real. And for me, it'll change my life forever. So I don't have to worry anymore. And um, I'll be able to help family, friends, and everybody can be that we be much better off. We bit to charity and everybody then will, will see benefit from the half a million, just not myself. So when you talk about benefits, I'd have to say to you on behalf of myself and all the team at McKinney's and Leah met you at the airport, we spoke to you on the phone and you have Kayla and you the cameraman. It's been a real benefit <coughs> to meet you and your family because you've been an absolute joy. We appreciate it very, very much indeed. You've been a fantastic company in the past few days and I'm absolutely delighted for everyone here to say well done. And I know you'll do good with it, so congratulations. Thank you so, so much, Adrian. I have to say one thing, I've never hugged a half a millionaire, but I'm going to do it. Uh. <laughs> well thank, done, congratulations, so well much. done. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>